Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into the light quality that the various light bulbs produce. And on the left we have a compact fluorescent light. In the middle we have the newer LED type lighting. And on the right we have the conventional light bulb. And we're going to test each one of these light bulbs for the quality of light coming out of it. And to do that test, we have this device here. This is known as a spectrograph. And uh, it's about as cheap as you can make it. This is just a standard blank compact disc. And we have a cardboard box that has a little slit in the end that allows the light to get into the compact disc. And we have a little viewing port that allows us to see the spectrum of light. So it's very cheap. Probably cost you probably a dollar to make something like this. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it to check the quality of your lighting products. And uh, we're going to start off with the compact fluorescent light. Now this is what a lot of the electrical companies are trying to make us buy. They're relatively cheap now. And uh, I'm going to show you why you don't want these in your home. So we have our light entering our slit and over here you can see very distinct bands of light that are coming in from the slit and being spread out by the CD and that light ranges from blue at the bottom to red up at the top. Now you don't particularly want this kind of light in your home or office because of those distinct bands. And we're going to see when we look at the next light bulb that it does not produce bands of light like this particular light bulb. And these bands of light are actually pretty typical of most fluorescent lights. And Dr. John Nash Ott ran many experiments in the 1950s with fluorescent lights. And he found that extended exposure to fluorescent lights would actually induce cancer into animals long term and shorten their lives. So there's some issues around the light, the light that comes out of these. So the next one is our LED. So these are the very latest and generally the most expensive light bulbs you can buy right now. So let's see how these perform. So again we're going to put our spectrum analyzer on the light and we can see that we have a band of light coming out of it which is continuous. So it doesn't have the bright bands that the fluorescent had. And this is a far more uh, desirable arrangement of light and it's getting somewhat to the way that the sun actually produces light. And it's, uh, it's much closer to sunlight spectrum. So our next light bulb is going to be a conventional filament light bulb. Nothing special about these. They've been around a long time. And these are what I currently recommend for people who value their health is to use conventional filament light bulbs. They're very well understood and they are the most like the sun. They produce their light by heat and that's exactly how the sun produces its light. And if we look at the spectrum from this light, it's very, very different from the previous two. And uh, it's this kind of spectrum that you're looking for when, you, when you're trying to buy lighting products. This is what you should be aiming for. So this is about as close to the sun uh, as you're going to get. And probably halogen filament light bulbs are probably about the best for matching the sun right now. But none of these actually equates to the sun. So uh, when you're dealing with artificial lighting, I always recommend the filament light bulb. But as ever, nature produces the very best light and you will always find the best light outside during the daytime in a green environment with lots of trees and plants. 
hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.